about what it means to work in China legally. The main form of employment in China at the moment is teaching. Now, if you're planning to go over to teach in China, you need to go over on a working Z visa. In order to obtain a working Z visa, you need to make sure that you have a degree. Just like teaching in any country, a teacher in China needs to have a degree. So I'm sure most of you are aware that at the moment there has been a lot of deportation in China because a lot of teachers have been found to be working illegally. Many of them didn't even know that they were working illegally and this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video to help those to become aware of how to work in China legally. There's been a lot of talk and speculation or loopholes being said that you can go over to China and work on a student visa or business visa and at a later stage you can obtain your working Z visa. However, this is not true. The only way that you can work legally in China is if you leave your country, so South Africa, with a working Z visa. Now, there's a lot of agencies out there that will feed you stories and tell you, no, it's fine, come over, you can work and we'll sort it all out later. Come over without your TEFL, come over without your degree. And guys, this is a first way ticket into getting into trouble. The only way that you can legally work in China is if you have a degree, you have that working Z visa. So please, don't believe all these wonderful stories that you're being sold. You need to do your research, you need to do your homework, and I've put all the links of the Chinese embassy, the Chinese consulate, the Chinese visa appointment center, all in the description bar at the bottom of this YouTube video. When you get to China on your working Z visa and you convert it to your temporary residency permit, you need to ensure that the address on that permit is the exact address where you are actually working in China. A lot of people have fallen under this problem where they would have an address on their permit but they would be working at a different premises, still for the same school but not the same premises. There's just something that's been laid on my heart and I feel I need to share it with all of you. For me, being a teacher is so much more than just walking into that classroom every day and teaching a syllabus. The children in my care and in my classroom become my children and they become my family. And at the end of the day, my goal is to ensure that I'm hoping those children develop into the best kind of human being possible that they can be. I want to ensure that I'm providing them with love, with education, I'm nurturing them and I'm setting a great example. At the end of the day, they are priority number one and I'm always going to put them first in my classroom. And I feel like anybody else who's stepping into a classroom needs to have a similar mindset. You need to be going over for the correct reasons. At the end of the day, the children's education should be the top priority. And this shouldn't just be about making a quick extra buck. Because of the recent events where South Africans have landed up in trouble for working in China illegally, the Chinese embassy has released an article or a statement rather that I've put the link to in the description box. You can go read their comments and their advice on what they say you should do before coming to China to teach. I hope that you found this video beneficial and that if you are going over to China to teach, you now understand what it means to work in China legally. So to end, I just want to run through the points again on how to work in China legally. First of all, if you're going there to teach, you need a degree. If you have a Bachelor of Education degree, you need teaching experience. If you have a different type of degree, you need a 120 hour TEFL certificate. You then need to get your working Z visa, which is going to get changed over into a temporary residency permit. And you need to ensure that your school is registered to employ foreigners to work for them. Thank you, like the video, share it, comment and please tune in for more.